don't call baby girl Mimi. You don't call her Mimi? Mm-hmm. What it is, Beam Squad? It's your boy, Billy B. And today, we are at the hospital. As you guys can see, this is exciting, kid, because the babies, the beautiful baby is born today, you dig? And I want to show you guys the baby, baby Ava, you dig? Eva's in the room, everybody else is in the room, so is here, everybody's here. Well, not everybody, you know, like not the whole gang and shit like that, but everybody's here. And we're about to go inside and show you guys the baby. Um, yeah, she's born on, what's today? 1, 1, one, ten, one ten, 2019, the baby was born. And um, baby Ava. Eva's holding the baby right now. Messiah, hmm? are you so excited the baby is born? Huh? You are? You going? What you going about to go pee, doo doo? Alright, sorry, I'll leave you alone. Oh, yeah, I close it that hard now. But yeah, guys, um, Eva's here with the baby. <sighs> guys. There's Eva holding the baby, the beautiful baby Ava. Oh. You guys, we are on our way to the hospital for a unexpected form of delivery and we are in a rush. It's traffic hour right now and we have to go, so I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Yeah. up you guys um when i picked up a camera it was early this morning around seven o'clock and we rushed to the hospital it's now like four o'clock and i was busy arguing literally arguing with doctors and nurses because they really want to do c-section i'm not trying to hear that i feel like before c-section is necessary it's important to try out all of the other options my sissy is in the um, came to the emergency room last night because the water broke no contractions happened before that like sh no pains were going on the water just broke and everyone was scared you know no one know what to do so when we got to the hospital or when she got to the hospital with my mom last night the doctors were saying that the baby was too big you know, and that she might need to get a C-section. This morning I got here as fast as I can. So I asked the doctor, why did she need a C-section? And they told me, you know, because the baby might be big and we don't wanna, you know, risk complications. So I asked a few questions and I think you guys should like listen to this part, especially if you're pregnant. So that way you ask these questions too. So I basically asked him like, what is the baby's heart rate? Has it dropped below 110, you know? Is something wrong with the baby? And all of the answers were no. Um, is she bleeding? The answer was no. Everything was no. So she's perfectly fine. They just felt like they wanted to do the C-section. And the doctor was very mean to me. He didn't want to talk to me. He was like, I don't want to talk to you. You know, I should be talking to her. And I'm like, listen, I'm her sister. You're going to have to talk to me. So I asked for a birth, like, did they read her birth plan? And they didn't. And the doctor was like, uh, you trying to tell me I have too much love? And I'm like, no, but if I was pregnant, and I mean, if I was having my baby right now, I would want you guys to like tell me or at least consider my birth plan or whatever. But they wasn't doing all that, they just wanted to do a c section. So we told them, No, she doesn't want a c section and she's not getting a c section. So he wanted to hear from my sister's mouth instead, and she told him whatever he needed to hear. And guess what? No c section. If you guys are wondering why I'm in this robe, it's because my outfit that I was wearing was a little too tight and I got a little congested like i don't know i just didn't like my outfit so i took my outfit off and they offered me a gown so i know i scared you sorry about that as many of you guys know that I, i'm gonna try to do my home i mean my birthing at home 
and I'm not gonna try I'm definitely gonna do it because I have the best midwives ever midwife 360 you guys get me to holler at them because I was calling them for help about like for questions about my sister to see if I can help her because the doctors over here regular doctors were like so pushy towards c-section and my midwife was telling me what not to let them do to her a lot of things they were doing they were really basically prepping her for um a c-section and as soon as uh, me and my twin and my and billy got here we was like okay now cut that off cut all that out you feel me ain't none of that going down today not today yeah gonna give my daughter at least 24 hours so the baby can do what she needs to do to get out and that's what baby's doing she's three centimeters so she's doing her thing she's working it may be slow but i don't think the process of birthing should be rushed anyways like i don't feel like it should be rushed and the doctor was very mad and he was like you know what i have to go i have to have i have a surgery to do and i told him like go handle your business because i know you're running a business over here but the business not gonna happen over here okay and he wanted to kick me out but i'm like i ain't going nowhere because my sister has my name on her birthing plan because she know my mouth is gonna come in handy to make sure everything go right so it's important if you're having a baby to make sure you go with somebody always have somebody with you the men are gonna get ignored like trust me they're gonna try to kick the men out of the room always do your research so some things that I've learned is if your water breaks before you start contraction it's okay it takes like 12 to 24 hours before you start contracting anyways and as long as the baby's heart rate is like 110 to 160 between those the baby is fine whenever the heart rate goes down when you're contracting that's fine because the baby heart rate does slow down so that the baby can like start pushing its way out so a lot of these things are fine um, if you ain't bleeding you might see a little blood but it's all right it ain't, it ain't nothing to stress and go crazy about you don't have to get a c-section just because the doctor says so you your doctor gonna get mad if you try to tell him otherwise but it's okay let them be mad and just because you had a c-section once don't mean you have to have a c-section twice it pays a lot of money to get the epidural you know then get the c-section you know that's a lot of money for these doctors and this is a business you feel me they want to hear me they ain't want to hear my brother they ain't want to hear billy they just wanted us to shut up and scare my sister like everything was basically if the baby dies if the baby gets infected if the baby this if you die it, it, nothing was you know everything's gonna go well we're gonna do do our best none of that so now she walked the baby um is doing good the doctor said he came back check it was like well, the doctor's doing good i mean the baby's doing good everything seems to be going fine which we knew everything was going fine because nothing was going wrong in the first place you know just the water broke early that's all but anyways she's in the in the room right now and i just think it's important for y'all to know that y'all y'all don't have to listen to these doctors unless it's an emergency if, if you bleeding you feel like your baby you don't feel your baby moving if you don't feel like, if you don't feel your baby moving it's a problem try to give it like 30 minutes and and wait to see if the baby start moving before you believe them when they say stuff like oh the baby heart rate is at zero because they machines be broken sometimes too and another thing to, to watch out for is when they say your baby too big most of the times your body give you a baby that you can handle unless you like you like a puny little girl and your, your baby daddy like a or a big ass guy anyways i'm gonna get back to my sister you guys i just wanted to let you guys know i'm okay melanie's fine when i'm having melanie you guys probably won't see me in this type of gown i'll be at home hopefully but my girl's doing good my sister girl's doing good my niece is doing good so that's good everything's good i'm happy she's meditating huh yeah vlogging so she's meditating you guys i'll talk to you guys later hey she's so precious mm -hmm. look at baby ava who she look like guys <laughs> she look like eva Hmm? <laughs> she look like Eva, huh? You guys, this is Avalina. Avalina. Say hey, Avalina. Say My hey. Sister fought long and hard last night for her baby. Mm -hmm. She got her baby girl. This is Melanie's um, sister cousin. They both, both of their names. Melanie's middle name is Ava. Her name is Avalina. We're going to call both of them Ava. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm gonna call baby girl Mimi. You gonna call her Mimi? Mm-hmm. Yes. Avelina. I was waiting for her all day yesterday. You know, after you text me, I couldn't go back to sleep. Really? That's why I woke up so late. 
I want to see that seven after at the um, I seen you. you I think I called you around five. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and I, I want to see that seven. Mm. She's so she's small so and precious. Oh, she's oh, trying to she look trying at to you open guys. Her eyes. She like who's that mm. talking? Mm -hmm. Ava. Okay. Ava, open up, Ava. Sorry for the um. The clickbait, but we got you guys. I know we got y'all. You know what I'm saying? Sorry about that, but we got y'all. Yeah, she's still so precious. You guys knew my sister was pregnant with me. We both were pregnant at the same time. And she was further along than me. I think two months ahead. And the baby's here. My niece is here. This is her first baby. Special baby. Is this your last? Yeah, it's her last. So you you're gonna be the, the golden baby. Mm -hmm. <gasps> the golden one. But yeah. you got a, a lot of family members, so you're gonna be good. Mm -hmm. You got you got people everywhere. Up north, up north, south, Haiti. You feel me? You got them everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Mm, she's oh, so she's trying to open her eyes, I think. Comment down below. Don't you guys love babies and baby smells? Yeah, guys. So we're gonna go enjoy. Precious little baby, get her off of YouTube. She don't need to be all on YouTube right now. So, see you guys. Deuces being squad. I ain't, I ain't got time for the patience. No, got, got time for the paper. Beam squad, we the greatest. Shooting vlogs in Malaysia. We ain't do it for the